So now we're going to need to download all of the art packs from our project with these links, which I'll include in the description, of course, so that you can get to them. I've made sure that all of these assets have at least a free version, so you shouldn't need to pay to follow along with this part of the tutorial. So first off, on the first link, the character we're going to use, this animated pixel adventure by RV Ross, has a lot of different animations more than where I can even set up in the tutorial. So, so you have plenty to add in if you want to go beyond the scope of the crash course. And when you get to the download section, you're going to specifically want the adventurer version 1.5, adventurer hand combat zip, and adventurer bow zip. So download all of those onto your computer. Next up, we have the fantasy night by a, a Matt Neeks. So there's only one zip file to get here, the free night version 1.zip. Go ahead and download that. For a text font from Manigore, we have M5X7. Fits the pixel art aesthetic pretty well. So go ahead and download that. And you're going to want the .ttf file. Next for the tile set, the ground, and I believe the background as well when we set up a parallax background. We have the cute forest tile set also by AA Matt Neeks. So go ahead and download that. And you're looking for a free cute tile set version 1.zip. Next from Henry Software, we have the Pixel Food Pack, which we can use for a bunch of health pickups in the game. So get the free Pixel Food.zip and download that. Next up, Kairos' free 16x16 RPG Icon Pack. So I needed an arrow projectile, so I used one of these two ice arrow sprites and created an alternative rotated version of that to be the arrow projectile for the game. But this is where it originally came from. I'll also have a link to download just the modified version that I have so that you have that as well. But if you were ever going to create some kind of inventory system, this would definitely be a good starting pack. Because there's a lot of useful icons. These could also be used for UI elements as well. Okay, and then to have some cool monsters, we have Louis Mello's Monster Creature Fantasy Pack. Let's go ahead and download that. So for this, you want to get all three of the versions. The base version has the original animations, but version 1.2 adds extra animations. Version 1.3 adds more animations on top of that. So you just want to combine them into the same folder so that you have all of the animations to work with. And then lastly, for music and sound effects, we have Ufoka's legendary JRPG battle music pack. So grab the full zip file. I'll only be using one or two tracks from here, but played around with it they seem to be pretty good in general so you could definitely use more of them and then lastly for sound effects from leo paz the rpg essential sound effects so we're going to download that as well okay and then this file should be the last one and you can see on my desktop i now have all of the zip files the adventurer has three files the monster pack has three as well and the rest of them are all individual zip files so in total, that should be 3, 6, plus 7, so 13 total zip files. Okay, so to add them in, I'm going to right-click Show and Explore for the assets in the project. So let's jump into the Assets folder. And I'm just going to set things up here to have the same directory structure as my reference project, except for the presets. The presets we put outside in the main Assets folder, since you can have different types of presets. So that's going to be the only difference here. So in the assets for our new project, I'm going to right click, create a new folder. I'm going to call it art. And just really quickly, I'm going to create copies of all the same folder names over here on the right. And we'll come back to the tile palettes part in a later video. So let's get a zoom in on these folder names if you want to match them and make sure they're exactly the same as in the tutorial. And next, we just need to start bringing in the art assets into here. The font, the music and the sound will put in a different folder right after this. So in the adventure pack, I'm going to grab each of the zip files. So the contents of them, we're just going to extract them straight into this folder. So you should have one called individual sprites and the version 1.5 sheet. So open up the other adventure packs and bring in the same files and just drag and drop them in the same way as well. The new sprites from the new animations, they just go straight into the individual sprites folder. <clears throat> should happen automatically. So this is what you should have for RV Ross Adventurer. Next, let's do the monster pack. So open up the folder and one at a time, get the contents of the monster creatures fantasy. So I'm gonna jump into the directory here and grab the four monsters, skeleton, mushroom, goblin, flying eye, and all characters.png and drop them in. Make sure you do that for each of the versions as well. So you should have to do this three time to bring in all of the animations. Okay, like so. 
Okay, next we can do the free knight. So get the color one, color two, the promo and the comparison and just drop those in here. And that's it for that one. Next, Kairi's RPG icon pack. I will drill down, get the sprite sheet, the icons, the sample and the readme and drop those in there. Okay, and next the free pixel food from Henry Software. So for this one specifically, we want to drill down a little bit. So free pixel food, assets, free pixel food. And then all we actually need here is the sprite and sprite.meta. So I will drag those into here. And if we open up the folder, you can see this contains all of the food items that we can use as pickups. Okay, and lastly for the visual art, free cute tile set. So right here, free cute tile set version one, open it up and there should be six or seven PNGs. Drag those all in there and then just double check all of your folders. Make sure that you have the content in each of them. So it looks to be good for now. Okay, so now drill back out to the assets folder and we will create a new one. I'm gonna right click, do new folder. Let's call this UI, jump into it, create a new folder, right click, new folder fonts, open that up and just drag the M5X7 TTF font straight into here. And that's all you need to do for the fonts. So let's go back out and let's create one more directory for audio. So right click new folder audio. And here we'll create two new ones, right click folder. So we want music, right click new folder SFX sound effects. And then let's open up the music pack. So inside of here, the only one I plan to use for right now is battle one. But feel free to check out the other music. You can use whichever one you want for your game, of course. So let's drag in 10 battle one 8 bit style. I just put that in there. Go back out and then sound effects. The last thing we just need the RPG essentials free sound effects. Open it up, drag in all of these folders straight into here. Okay, and that should pretty much be it. So the only final thing we're going to need is a projectile. So as I mentioned, I made a slightly modified version from the Kairises pack. So let me just go grab this from the reference project, the straight arrow modified PNG. I will just drag that in as a copy. So once again, I'll put a link so that you can have this one modified file as well. Now, when we check our art, you should see that the settings for all of the textures, the 2D sprites, have been set up with our presets. So clicking on this, you can see pixels per unit 16, filter mode point, compression none, max size 496. So if you see that, you know that our preset is working as intended. If we jump into any of the uh, packs as well, you can click on any of the other PNGs and you can see we have the same settings, 16 point, no filter, so on and so forth. So if you're up to that point, good. Now, obviously a lot of these sprite packs are eventually gonna be switched from sprite mode single to multiple as we split up the sprite sheets into different animations. Don't worry about that just yet. That'll be like the one thing we do manually for each one. 